I don't know who needs to hear this, but Southwest Airlines does not assign seats. Let's get into the pros and cons of Southwest Airlines. So if you've seen my other video, I've provided a guide to flying on Southwest Airlines, but I want to talk about really quickly pros and cons of flying on Southwest Airlines. So let's get into you know, the cons first and we'll end on a good note with the pros. Like I mentioned, Southwest Airlines does not assign seats. So I know a lot of people might look at their ticketing and see the zone that you're going to be boarding in, but that does not mean that's your seat. I remember being on a flight this year where several people on the flight were saying, looking at their ticket and say they were in A35 and they were looking for a35 that seat if you look at how many rows are on an airplane boarding positions go well into above 40s and you sometimes don't have that many rows on a plane so your boarding position is going to be located on your ticket that does not mean that's your seat that is just one of the downsides of not having assigned seating you're going to board with your boarding group based on when you check in. So as soon as you hit that 24 hour mark before your flight departs, that's when you need to check in. That determines your boarding position. Of course, if you're like a different status, like an A-list or if you pay for something called early bird check-in where you're automatically checked in, you usually have to pay about $15 more and then you could, you don't have to worry about that. So another con of Southwest Airlines is that there is not any like first class or business class seating. So don't expect to have that luxury first class seats that you would see on other airlines. Another con is some of the flight routes are very inconvenient. There's not a lot of direct flight, especially lately. I could be flying from Atlanta and trying to get to Miami. There was only like one direct nonstop flight for the entire day. Everywhere else took me to different destinations just to go from Atlanta to Miami. Another con of Southwest Airlines is that there aren't any associated airport lounges. I have videos where I visited other airline lounges, but Southwest doesn't have one. But there are some other lounges that are not related to airlines that you can visit. And I have another video that I'll link in the description of this video on how to access airport lounges without being in first class. And also it's not related to any airline. One of the cons is you cannot visit a lot of the different countries that you would see on other airlines but my kind of tip for that is you'll use southwest airlines to get to some of the major hubs and then take another airline to some of the other destinations because most of the times you're going to be doing a stop anyway so you can get the cost down by either paying for a southwest flight with points or something very inexpensive and transfer over to a different airline. Of course, that is going to cause a little bit of extra work. If you check the bag, you have to go out of the airport, get your bag, and then go back through security. One of the cons with Southwest Airlines is that the flights are not on Google Flights. So if you're using some of the tools to find cheap flights or look at different flights, you're always going to have to look at Southwest on southwest.com versus looking on like Google flights or any of the other tools that you might use to search for all flights. Let's get into the pros of Southwest Airlines. For starters, I've always had very good service when flying on Southwest Airlines. I cannot really recall a time <laughs> where I've had a bad experience with like the staff within Southwest Airlines. Sure, I've had a couple of delayed flights. Even when I've mentioned like delays to customer service, they've usually followed up and provided some type of incentive or some type of reimbursement in the form of either miles or some type of uh, flight credit. Another pro, and this is on some of the flights, is that Southwest Airline has begun to test out free Wi-Fi on some of their flights. If free Wi-Fi isn't available on your flight, it is $8 per session, and that is per device. Another pro of Southwest Airlines is drink tickets. <laughs> um, depending on, like if you have a Southwest Chase credit card, depending on some things, you could get free drink tickets. I recently 
received about four drink tickets and this is for alcoholic beverages. So I'm able to get four free alcoholic beverages. And also on your birthday, if you're flying on your birthday, you should get a free alcoholic drink as well. But other than that, they serve juice and soda. And then they have like a new snack, which is like a trail mix that they serve it with your drink. Another pro of Southwest Airlines is that you receive two free bags with your flights. So this could be advantageous if you're taking a, an, an international trip and compared to other airlines, you're saving a lot of money with your bags. So that's two free bags per person. So it's up to you if you want to utilize the two free bags. Another pro of Southwest Airlines is the in-flight entertainment that I mentioned earlier that it's accessible via your devices. Are There's a lot of things that you can watch as far as TV and a lot of a great selection as far as movies and music. Another great pro of Southwest Airlines is depending on what's going on in the world, like right now it's very hard, but you can usually find cheap flights with Southwest Airlines. One of my favorite pros of Southwest Airlines is that there's no cancel fees, no change fees. And get this, if you cancel your flight more than 10 minutes before the departure time, you can get a refund to the original payment or a credit for a future flight. This is only if you have an anytime or business select ticket. If you have a wanna get away fare or wanna get away plus, that you would get a credit that's eligible for one year. So if you cancel more than 10 minutes before and you have one of those fares, you're getting a credit that can be used up to one year after that date. If you have a want to get away and you cancel after the like less than 10 minutes before the departure time, where you're basically considered a no-show, you forfeit those funds. Another pro of Southwest Airlines is like the Rapid Rewards program. I find that it's very easy to earn points with the Rapid Rewards program and your points go further. I have done several flights with just points and I've been using points for a while. I've just been accumulating them for a while due to some of the credit cards and referrals and things like that. A pro of Southwest Airlines is the companion pass, which I loved. I've used it in the past. And what the companion pass is, is basically the ability to assign someone to be able to fly with you for free for the remainder of the year that you earn the companion pass and for the next calendar year. So it would be advantageous to earn it at the beginning of the year or as soon as possible within the year. So what it is is someone can fly with you for free for that time and all they have all you have to do is pay the taxes. So with domestic flights, it's five dollars and sixty cents per one way and then it varies for international flights and i love it to earn the companion pass with southwest airlines you have to fly either 100 one-way flights in one year or earn 125,000 points in one year you can do earn 125,000 points in one year by either getting a southwest rewards credit card so you can get a chase card and sometimes you can get a business card as well in addition to that if you qualify you can also earn rapid rewards through travel through dining and through some of your shopping purchases if you want to know more about that let me know in the comments so what do you think are you going to fly southwest airlines did i miss out on any pros and cons of southwest airlines let me know in the comments below. And if you're new here, my name is Kim. I'm the creator of workhardtravelwell.com. And I talk about travel tips for busy professionals to help you travel more. So I'd love it if you subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so you can get more amazing travel tips like this and be notified when I go live.